Good morning, all. I actually take a shirt in NQ on a setup. When I got in a little late here, I should have taken it up here, but I was uh, refreshing my laptop, my PC. But the criteria for this trade was vaccine news on Pfizer. Same setup. They would run the Dow up and they would take the NASDAQ down selling off the stay at home stocks. So I have a level here. This is a prior swing from the overnight session. This is where you could actually book profit here. You get a double top, a double bottom, it pivots up back. But I'm gonna hold it a little longer and see what happens. But I can make a little profit in this trade here. This is a simple trade. Should have got in on the news, on the high, but I had my, my desktop down at the time. Bring it up back, take it here on the sell off as the cloud becoming wider. They're looking for more speed to the downside. It breaks the swing, it come back to the VWAP or come back to the 50% here of the overnight session. An overnight session was kind of crazy. The market rundown was negative and then just rebound back off the, the European market open up and recover. And the news came out and I run the Dow back up in pre-market. So that's the setup there. Let this trade run. So this is an easy trade. Could do a, an E-mini would be up a couple of hundred dollars. Every 10 ticks would be a, could be up a hundred dollars here. 200, yeah, hundred dollars, 20 times five. Uh, that was an easy trade there. News drive the market now. The catalyst for the market is vaccine news. Take it up. The spread of the virus, to take it down. Plus the economic data. We have building permits coming out and housing starts at 30. <laughs> Medium to high impact in the market, but So you see it came back, hit that prior swing. <laughs> came back, hit the prior swing, bounce off the prior swing, but it pivots in a downtrend. But anytime you get the, um, the bars switch from dark red to green red, kind of indicating that uh, momentum, the speed to the downside could be subsiding. And then you get a pivot and the squeeze and the momentum shift, break above the trend line, we come right back up. But still in a downtrend, got a red dot, which is a ATR trailing stop. Price is hogging uh, the trend line. It breaks above the trend line, then <clears throat> it could go higher but recover a little off the low there, but. If you look back here, you can see the prior swing is here. That's why I put this line here. All these are prior swings. You look to see where you come back to them, right? Got prior swing right here. You got one going back all the way here. Here's those levels. We just swing trend indicator and your longer setup framework and you manage your trade. All right, you got key levels on the chart. 
you have overnight high, 50% level of the overnight high is here in purple, and the low is here. This is where the market was in the overnight session, and then rally back up, all right? But they're all trading off the overnight high and overnight low, so they're in between right now. I YM, right? YM is in between. We go back here, we look at YM. Overnight high, pivot right back down. If you go back and you look, see how we trade it. Seven o'clock down, down, down. Did a low here. All right. And now we up here. See that NQ is trying to recover. Bounce up back off of that level and then it bounces right back up. All right. We could have booked the profit there. We're coming into 830. We got building permits are coming out. My mouse is kind of sticking here. I don't understand why. Got some levels here that we want to key in on. See the NASDAQ hit that level, that swing, break above the trend line, get a buy signal, and then pivot it back to the uh, value area. So the swing becomes shorter, right? The swing was here to here, becomes shorter. All right, so you get green dots, momentum is shifting. So this could actually come back and uh, take back all my profit. I hold it a little longer, I hold it till 30 and see. I think the long play today would be look for entry to short NQ and an entry to play the Dow. Swing higher, swing high and swing low. But if you look into short, someone would be NQ and ES. But ES getting some help from the mid caps and the smaller caps right now which is that EMD and uh, Russell.
Me gustó. The news is about to come out. You know, just the speed of the price action on the chart, correct? Especially on the, uh, especially on the NQ speed. Why I'm just gradually coming down, All right? He swing momentum shift back to the upside on the NASDAQ. Getting some buying coming in here. Taking the Dow down and the NASDAQ up. We don't have the algos to deal with yet. So, so these trades you could actually in pre-market could stay in them a little longer. Normally I would have booked my profit already during the cash session because the speed would be too much. Man, see the news come out in the next six minutes. I'll take this NQ off if it started to break above my um, entry price. Please pay for commission. The market internals and the setup is going to become active. 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, we have the U.S. housing starts number forecast 1 spot 460 million, previous 1 spot 415 million. Canadian CPI month over month, forecast 0 spot 2 percent, previous minus 0 spot 1 percent. U.S. building permits number forecast 1 spot 560 million, previous 1 spot 545 million. Bank of Canada core CPI month over month, previous 0 spot 1 percent, Bank of Canada core CPI year over year, previous one spot zero percent. US building permits change month over month, previous four spot seven percent. US housing starts change month over month, previous one spot nine percent. Canadian core CPI month over month, previous zero spot two percent. Canadian CPI common forecast one spot five percent, previous one spot five percent. Canadian CPI median previous one spot nine percent. Canadian CPI trim previous one spot nine. 1 spot 8 percent, Canadian CPI year over year forecast 0 spot 4 percent, previous 0 spot 5 percent. That's financial juice, that's a free site to give you real time data. I only like to listen to the New York, the US data releases. Unfortunately, they give you everybody in the world, right? So, so here we have NQ just spike up, spike down, right? Coming into 830. If I think it goes against me, I'll take it off or I'll hold it a little longer, see if we get a next drop. I could have added it to this trade, but because the news is coming out, I didn't want to do that because price reacted to the news unpredictable. All right. As I said, a reason to stay in this trade this long is Pfizer came out with more news on their vaccine. So they run the Dow up, take the NASDAQ down. The last two times. Oh, on Moderna and on Pfizer. Soon or later, the, the vaccine news is going to be built into the market. And the news won't have any impact. People would start worrying about logistics of rolling out the vaccine because the virus continues spreading and investors gonna start worrying about more lockdown and the slow recovery of the economy. Those be the catalyst going forward, right? Soon the earnings season gonna be over. Right now we just got retail. Stocks are uh, coming out for this week. All right. 
So here we go now. We we'll see if we could get a bigger drop. I go back to the bottom. I take it off. I mean, it come back twice to that entry here. On CNBC, the U.S. FDA said to plan early December advisory meeting to discuss COVID-19 vaccines ahead of potential authorization. Here we go. A twenty-eight. We could have played, we could have scalped this guy twice or even add to it. One minute reading. I'll be reading the US housing staff number first and the rest as they come. And get ready to close this out. If uh, we started to get a run up, if we get bested, better than expected news on building permit, you'll get a pop up on NQ on all of them, right? But uh, 10 seconds. But they could actually run NQ down again during the day. There we go. See what happens. One spot five three zero million. One spot five three zero million. That's higher than the forecast. Higher than the forecast. Cajun CPI inflation month by month zero spot four percent. Zero spot four percent. That's higher than the forecast of zero spot two percent. The news. The news is good. One spot five four five million. One spot five four five million. That's lower than the forecast of one spot five six zero million. US field field permits change month by month. Zero spot zero percent, zero spot time zero to take percent. this trade off. US house starts not closing it out. Four spot nine percent, four spot nine percent. <laughs> Canadian CPI inflation year over year, zero spot seven percent, zero spot seven percent. That's higher than the forecast of zero spot four percent. Canadian CPI median, one spot nine percent, one spot nine percent. Canadian CPI trim, one spot eight percent, one spot eight percent. Canadian CPI common. I actually take that trade off because the US data. Well, we get nineteen dollars. The US data was actually the housing start was one point five three zero million. The forecast was one point four four six zero million. Building permits <clears throat> was one point five four five million versus one point five six zero million. So we have a mixture. We have more housing starts and less permits. You have the FDA is actually saying that they plan to um, have discussion about the COVID-19 vaccine rollouts. So. Look to short NQ again. Once this news is subside, we look to short NQ again. See what's happening with NQ? We have a mixture of uh, housing start is not a big impact to the uh, impact to the uh, it's like a median impact to the market. All right, building permits also, but they still have some sort of the selling the Dow off now, and that's that holding steady here. See, in pre-market, you get some good trades. You just have to be here waiting, looking for them, because you could get a good trades in pre-market that you don't have to trade during the cash session and deal with the algos and the wide swings, right?
Oh, this is the range for this guy. All right. As you could see here, the news came out. And yeah, watch what happened. And could recover a little, but ES is coming down. YM came down off the high. You got EMD and the Russell pullback. When these guys pull back, it takes the ES down. So correlation between the EMD and ES here, EMD and ES is very, very important because EMD is a small cap, mid caps within the S&P, all right? ES and XPX would pull back when MD, EMD fail, all right? So when EMD is running up, RTR is running up and large cap stocks are running up, then you got a prosperous rally. All right, right now, these guys are pulling back off their high, and what's the impact here, right? So, there's some correlation you need to keep your eyes on when you're trading. All these little nuggets help when you trade them, right? Are, this, are these indices trading in sync, percentage-wise? Seven five thirty five. Nasdaq is the weak guy. He should be up thirty five points based on the amount of points that ES is up. ES up seven points. One point equal to three and Q points. One point in the ES equal to ten on the high side and eight on the low side for the Dow. So the Dow is trading. 10, 70, it's a Dow is a stronger, it's trading ahead of percentage wise against the ES. NASDAQ should be up, would be seven times three, right? 21. It's not too bad, all right? So, so that's how you determine the weak candidates, strong candidates in terms of relative strength. So he's chopping around, nothing to do here. ADX is 19, gone into its chop mode. ADX is 20, right, so. So he's in chop mode. Volumes of subside, and that's what happened. Go into the chop mode. It, wait to 930 and we see what happened. Let he just chop around here. So the, the trade here was this trade here. I got in some way here on that scalp, but the scalp was here. Not here. All right, you get a swing, came down, came back into the squeeze box, you get a right that. So this. It was anywhere here was the entry. Get a crossover in the squeeze box. This is the squeeze here. Squeeze shift to the downtrend. This is a zero log indicator. He swept below zero two. And, and this setup was perfect. And then it was had the news to help it to flush down, all right? He's chopping around here. Right, so. yeah, that's it. We look for more trades. At the open or before the open. Unless I see something here. Oh, watch what the flush and then you break the swing. Wow. Got to take that again, but I was waiting. See? Taking it down now. Guess they're gonna take them all down now. 
he's still he's still here tempting me to take this flush here i don't like to take it in the hole so i'll put it up there see if he come back and fill me come and fill me above the prior swing so if he come and fill me above the prior swing okay we get a strong cell signal so you're gonna pivot up a little the three arrows and the t you're gonna pivot a little and then they're gonna take it down so i keep my entry up there see here strong cell signal so you want them to come back maybe 50 percent of this here all right ah we we'll leave it there for now but as uh, so he could come there or he could just flush and never look back most likely you get a little pivot might have to take it i'm going in now let me see if i get ah miss it ah miss it okay i'll take it don't like to take it in the hole but I try taking this off and cancel the trade by accident. And, but this is a strong cell signal. You get a pivot up back here. That was the entry right there. All right. Each one of my boxes here is uh, it's for the ticks. So you get for the ticks here. Each one of those backs. He could come here back to the VWAP. His trade won't have much more. He'd come to the VWAP here. All right. And he's going to try to uh, pivot off for it. So this trade won't make a, an entry was poor entry. I should have taken it back up here, but I was waiting until 9.30. But we see what happens. He could come to the VWAP. All right. Does it seem to four? But that's what they do all the time with NQ. Once the virus news comes out, they start selling off the, you know, stay-at-home stocks. And then what happened? Everybody jump, uh, join in, uh, and then they start taking some of the megatech stocks down with it. Once though goes down, I think this trade not gonna give us anything much. My poor entry. So you get a swing here, hesitating here on that swing, pivot right back up. Yeah. But he's pivoting up in a downtrend, you know, so. so that's the trick that he's pivoting in a downtrend. That's a swing there. We'd have to break that swing to come here. But he could come back and test this and then test this. Come back and test. He got a downtrend. Official downtrend, right? With the red dots, strong cell signal. You know, but time of day is 842. I pivot that back and uh, you know. Why well, am actually, well, I actually was a shirt, you know? It actually was a good shirt. I didn't pay much attention to him because I expect him to look at that. He had a nice shirt into the news, right? Sometimes you gotta pay attention to all these indices. We look to short the weak guy. This is a strong guy, right? Got to swing, comes down. So we got some levels here to work with with him too. So see, it's gonna chop around here now. I 
a good play for this guy would be have him run up. All right, I will short him. Have him go all the way up. And then you short him. Because I think they're going to punish NQ today. We look in pre market, we could kind of see what's happening with the stay at home stocks. Get a good idea. How we see Clorox down three dollars. T Doc down a dollar. Zoom down like three dollars. Not bad. Amazon third close at third one. Third of five. He's up. Netflix four eighty. Still at four eighty. So they're not punishing the stay at home stocks as yet. Clorox is down three dollars. Procter and Gamble is flat. Peloton is down a dollar. So they're not punishing the stay at home stocks. Maybe they do that when the market is open. You know? Sometimes the news get built into the market and then it don't have any uh, more effect, you know. This is the third time we have news in two weeks. Last week on Pfizer, Moderna, and then we had news on, on Pfizer again this morning. So. Just chopping around here. All these candles are have long wicks. Every time they push it down, the buyers come in and push it up back. See it's long wicks. Alright, so they try to push it up back. Still on a downturn, so if this was a, if this was during the care session, I would have taken this trade off already because it would have been fast and swift. Yeah, let this hang around for a little while. Let's see what ES is doing. I want to take a. Don't want to take a long on YM, you know. Let's see why I'm come down there and give us a play here. Momentum trying to shift, so we want to get a good fill. Come back here above the swing. See if we get it. Look at NQ. All right, this is the mean. He came down one, two, close to three. Standard deviation moves on this indicator, right? So trying to push it up back. All right. 
Yeah, we could actually fade this guy. Come here, look to fade him. Then an uptrend, create another swing in between here. Never get back up to that swing. See, so create another swing. Swings are getting shorter, all right. I think it's time to go eat some breakfast. I'll stop this recording for now and pick it up back later. On a quick note, I actually add to that uh, trade. I should add up here, but I look at this indicator here and look at add here and hopefully we come back here, right? So we we'll let it run and see what happened. Still in an uptrend, right? See? On this indicator, I got a squeeze fire long. Or are we looking for NQ to sell off based on the news? I'm right. I'm sure at the open we get some good plays in NQ. Hope they rally it up and then take it down back. So.
Okay, I'm back. So we add, I did add to that that trade, looking at this indicator here, right? Looking for it to break and come back to trade standard deviation. So if we look where we are right now, we coming down to break the VWAP. So we have three micros on, and we up fifty three dollars. I normally and personally I trade the big contracts, but not everybody have a, a big account. So I do all my trades most of the time in the session on the micro. So we could actually scale out of here. We could take one off here and we take another one off and we let a run a run. Right. So if you understand what the market, how the market react based on certain type of news, if you pay attention to the news, we don't do news straight, but we use news as a catalyst or a setup, right? So we made close to $20, $19 in the first. We need another 50 You make like you know, $75 before the market open. Mm -hmm. If these were a large contract, you make a couple of hundred dollars and you're done for the day. What is the power of trading in pre-market? Trading in pre-market, you could make enough money. You don't have to mess with the, the session. Right, so you see, you come right back to that VWAP. All right, I was looking for the computer's VWAP. If you break the VWAP, he's coming and you're gonna test this the overnight low. So we have a runner on, all right. Most of the market normally don't go down straight, you know, the market goes up and ebb and flows up, down, up, down, down in a downtrend you got like a two-step moving right so it rally down people say oh let me go along and then it goes up back and then it comes right down back same scenario that we had on the the previous play right i could take the profit on the on that one a couple of times the second one but instead i add to the trade because i understand what would happen, right? So I come here through standard deviation, bounce up here. I didn't take it here, I take it here. I come here, now it goes back here again. I could add to my trade, right? And take it down one more time. Come back here, see? Get 30% more volume coming in here. The scandal here, here, but 30% on what volume, all right? So the volume is low, so. So he could come and bounce right back up here again, and then we look for another short. We could lock in, we could leave a runner there to run, or it's 907, all right? So if I, what I think gonna happen we won't get a tick fade. You normally look for a tick fade when ES is up 10 or more points, all right? But ES is, is only up six points. So I won't be looking for a tick fade. So what could happen? This guy may not run up, they may just flush up, all right? So we could use this as a runner. I think they're, they're gonna run, see? I tried to get a play here, but he just continue. I didn't want to chase him. I didn't want to have two trades and walk away from the trades. So I decided to uh, trade this one guy, right? All right. So he comes, hey, create that swing. He can come back and test it. Here's where the news helps him, right? The news helped tremendously here. 
fire vaccine news last two times to sell the nasdaq off same scenario we trade the news with a setup the, the news the catalyst for our setup to work on the downside right you could combine them together you know the problem with news the move has already happened by the time you hear it on tv right you would have to have some real-time subscription and you get the news real time and you could participate right see here we come come back and we're going to test here bam break below the overnight low so they're crushing at them right Let's see this is a perfect example if you understand so now nasdaq came back and touched the overnight low remember the high was all the way up here he was at 12 22 75 now he's trading at 11 nine six to five my next target here is come and test the value area here sorry did not test the low sorry he came in to test the mid the lows all the way down here right so he could come and test the value area there and we could actually um say we have a runner on all right he come i create another swing we could take this straight off here so we make another 39 dollars so you make over a hundred dollars on those three micros or close to a hundred dollars on those three micros plus 19 dollars on the previous one all right i take it off here because we end up getting a swing here right so the swings becoming a little shorter so we will have him to take it up and then take it down again so we book the profit get a swing here this was an overnight swing so i'll take this swing off so here we have them all here now clean this up a little so we have some levels to work with, right? Now, if you decide to break here and come low, we would actually have a chance to um, to short it, but I don't want to short at the low of the pre-market session, right? Pre-market is from 8.30 to 9.30. So, I would hope that they come and run it up and give us an opportunity to take it down again. Let's stop this recording now and we'll get back in at 9.30 and look for some trades. <laughs> 